Hello and welcome back to Game Start. I'm your host Bardic Knowledge and we're jumping in after I've done a bit more grinding. So now I've gotten Glenn his Water 2, which in conjunction with Lightning 2 and Fire 2, well, technically I haven't earned that one yet, but you'll see it soon enough and oh yeah, I saved outside the Magic Cave. Which I think you're supposed to talk to someone who says that this mountain to the east is where Magus's troops come out from, but... Oh. And of course we open right up with a flashback. Ah! Hey you! It's Cyrus, run for your lives! Thanks, Cyrus. <laughs> Glenn... <clears throat> that was interesting. Glenn, there's time... There... There are times when people simply have to grit their teeth. But it hurts when I get hit. They... You're a marshmallow, Glenn. Okay, this is something I recently read. Um where the translation completely alters the meaning of the phrase um, because the original bit here was actually um, Glenn saying that it hurts when people get hit rather than just when they hit him sort of a thing and Cyrus says you're too soft you're too kind um, that sort of a thing and instead of being it's like you're such a night a gentle person that that's actually probably more accurate um because you're such a gentle person became you're a marshmallow turning what was meant to be a compliment into a bit of a insult in a way now we skip ahead a few years I was actually thinking with our massive flashback in the previous episode um, that the fact that they still think Cyrus is around somewhere uh, means that it's probably only been maybe a couple of years since he was killed by Magus. Because they never actually give a time frame on that. But anyway. Hey, Glenn. I've been thinking about becoming a knight. I knew you were going to enlist. You'll make a great warrior. Why don't you join too? I don't think I'd make the cut. But why? You're better with a sword than I am. I'm starting to lead in a bit British there. I don't know. I think I'd really lose it if I had to hurt someone. And that ties back to the Dora Marshmallow bit. not the one we fell down, but it's nearby. It is curious that they had their battle at the Denodora Mountain. It's also kind of curious that it's just this one giant mountain. The medal. The hero's medal. Handeth over the Masamune. Nope, Chrono, he said to hand it over, not stick it in the ground. Now for an epic moment. Which seems a bit less epic after, in a way. But I'll explain after the whole thing. 
My name is Glenn. Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now the Masamune. Forthwith, I shall slay Magus and restore honor. Okay, so what I was kind of getting at, and, and actually first, the reason why I said my instead of mine, or my name is Glenn, mine name is Glenn, is um, that's actually bad grammar, because the mine was used in front of words beginning with a vowel. Anyways, the reason why I was commenting on why it would seem not quite so amazing is when we get into this battle, which is inevitable, there's no way to dodge these guys. The Masamune doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but there we just saw it split a mountain open. Except we didn't. What we saw was the Masamune... Uh, that actually was a decent, a decent amount of damage. But, um, what we saw was the Masamune cutting through the spell that kept the mountain sealed rather than keeping the... rather than cutting the mountain apart. I think Erebus has gotten into something again. Now you get to see the water spell. I'm gonna have to deal with them after I end this episode. Because of course he takes now to be the perfect moment. Probably in the garbage again. I don't remember that that's here. Actually, just a moment. I'm, there's a pause button here, so I'm going to do that. Okay, he wasn't getting in the bin. He was just messing with a table, I think. Still, I put something against it so it wouldn't tip over. Anyway, back to the game. And I've kind of forgotten what I was talking about before, but uh, let's show off our new triple tech. Delta Storm. Which is a good bit different from Delta Force. While it is technically made of the same elements, it comes across rather differently. And look at that damage! Ooh. Beautiful. Yeah, I think this is another fight you can't avoid, but I'm gonna try! Yeah, I did! Note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. And what that means is the juggler enemy um, switches between high magic defense and high physical defense depending on what you hit him with before. And now for one of the most epic parts of the game. This can only be. Hmm. Did to try something? Agus's castle. See if I can do this in the middle of the uh, 
in the middle of recording and hope that it doesn't screw things up too much. It might be already, actually. Okay. Let's... Oh, that's very small. Okay. That'll do what I want it to, I think. The reason why I am doing this is actually for a thing that comes up later in here. Now, something I should mention, I suppose, is I have very deliberately chosen my party because uh, of Delta Storm for reasons that will be further explained later. But in order to proceed here, I have to go down both hallways and then back to the center again. And if you're wondering why I'm looking up, because now I've got a big TV there that I'm watching stuff on. I suppose I could just watch the screen I'm recording on, though. And I'm not, the reason why I'm not talking to all, any of these people is they don't really say anything of interest. These kids kind of do. Our treasure. Wanna play? Yeah, they just kind of sit there being creepy, but okay. Well, if it isn't Luca, because we've got shades, then as to her. Frog, you're safe, and Chrono, so this is where you've been for the festival. I've been worried. So these shades, you had me worried sick. Because A, you can walk right through anyone who isn't real. And two, how did Tabin and Chrono's mom, who never did get a name, uh, wind up 400 years in the past? This is not a save point, and it also wasn't there before. It's a signal. Ozzy. Welcome, Glen. Or should I say, Sir Froggy? Mwah! <laughs> say, looks like you got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to think of your business with me. The swordsman, slash and flee the magician, and... Here's the thing. You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus's castle. So, what I'm going to be doing is keeping track of how many monsters I defeat, and see if we actually get to a hundred. Let's see how many there are. And we will open... with a Lightning 2. We've got six guys here, so... Oop. And this is this music in the background is going to remain exactly like this this whole time. So next, the creepy kids. You want our treasure? It's good stuff. Wanna play? Okay, so you have to say yes to here. I just want this treasure, but in that case, will you play with us? Please? Pretty please? And they turn into monsters. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fight every single monster and keep track, like I say, of how many I've defeated. I will not fight duplicates, however. Because there's, you go down a certain path, and then, hmm. 
Confuse, the one that I thought way back when should be the one called uh, Spin Cut, is hits four times. Oh, and I just need a thousand tech points and I get the most powerful spell in the game. Oh, and I see that time is up. So, time to end this episode, and I will see you on the next one. Till the next, live well.